Hi everyone. So it's been about a year since I did my last YouTube video and um, I really wanted to get back into it and I thought that the 50 random facts about me tag would be the perfect way to jump back in. So without further ado, here are 50 random facts about moi. My name is Avery and it means ruler of elves which is actually very fitting considering I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I'm a 21 year old Capricorn. My favorite books are The Catcher in the Rye, 1984, and the Harry Potter series. I've been to New Zealand three times, the North Island, and I've actually visited Mata Mata, which is the, or was, the Hobbiton um, movie set for Lord of the Rings, and it was one of the highlights of my existence. Every year I have a Lord of the Rings marathon, which is like 12 plus hours of Lord of the Rings and every year I cry. My girl crushes will forever be Kristen Stewart and Emma Watson and Helen Mirren and Jessica Lange actually. I have a lot of girl crushes. My man crushes are Mark Ruffalo and Jimmy Fallon. I've never been to Disneyland or Disney World. I've never had chicken pot. I've never broken a bone. My favorite shows are the UK version of Skins, Nip Tuck, and The Office. I became a vegetarian at 15 after watching a piglet get beaten to death with a crowbar by a factory farmer and uh, on the news thankfully. But uh, that was the point in time that really opened up my eyes to the factory farming industry and really gave me the insight I needed to change my lifestyle. I became vegan two years ago after watching Gary Yarovsky's speech and also the documentary Forks Over Knives. I can rap the real Slim Shady verbatim. I have social anxiety, but uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of strange. It's a strange social anxiety because when I'm with people, I'm confident around them. It's just when I know that I have to go meet someone, say I have to go meet someone or I have to go have dinner with them, then I stress about it. But if the, if the interaction is spontaneous, I'm fine. So it can be, it can get bad sometimes, but um, it's something that I'm overcoming, thankfully. I'm covered in moles and freckle very easily. I was bullied a lot in high school, specifically by boys. I might do a separate video on that because I have a lot to say about bullying and why I think it's disgusting and how it can change a person and etc etc. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. I have a tendency to get crushes on my teachers and professors. Male or female. I don't care. If they're up there reading Keats, you know, sensual poetry, and they're looking good, it really doesn't matter to me. I've never played on a sports team. Hand-eye coordination. Not there. Non-existent. I delight in watching Christopher Hitchens debates on YouTube. You don't even have to believe in his viewpoints in order to enjoy him, but his oratory prowess is just unparalleled, and it's it's so entertaining to watch him, I would recommend that you give it a try. I cut my own hair, and I actually haven't cut this hair since October of last year. I snort when I laugh really hard. I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced this phenomenon, but if I'm not looking in a mirror or, say, at a picture of myself, then I forget what I look like. It's kind of weird. I fancy myself a good writer and linguist, but fail miserably when it comes to math and science. Like literally fail. It took me two goes to pass chemistry and three to pass algebra in high school. It's just hope hopeless, hopeless. I would say that my best quality is my empathy. My worst is throwing hissy fits and quitting projects when they're not going the way I want them to. I can't fall asleep unless I'm laying on my right side and hugging a pillow. I am one of the biggest dorks that I know. When I'm alone, sometimes I talk to myself in different accents. Like sometimes, I'll talk to myself like I'm from Bristol. For no reason at all. I don't rely on other people for my own happiness. I am a genuinely happy person, and I've found that the keys to happiness are gratitude and self-acceptance. I have 2015 vision. Who oh, isn't that exciting? <laughs> Seriously, my nurse said that I could be a pilot if I wanted to, but... If I don't want to do something, I will not do it. I Seriously, I can almost always find my way out of doing things I don't want to do. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I gotta go to the dentist? Nope, call in. Sick. Done. The majority of my friends are male. Don't know why. Just how it is. I like to observe other people's behavior in social situations. And I think that I can usually tell how they're feeling. So whether or not they feel uncomfortable, if they're being genuine, um, if they're disinterested in what the other person is saying, I think that I have a pretty good eye for that. I'm not sure if I ever want kids or not. 
Because there are so many ways that you can screw them up, and no matter what, it seems like whatever problems your kids have, they can always find a way to blame it on you as the parent. And also the world just doesn't need any more kids, so I'm torn. I'm very much a homebody. I enjoy being at home, I enjoy being in familiar surroundings. Home is where the heart is, you know? That's, that's what they say. There's a reason they say that, right? I'm a hopeless night owl. Like right now, it's almost four o'clock in the morning. What am I doing? My favorite physical activity is bouldering or rock climbing. I love it. You know, work those hamstrings. Get those quads in, in check. I usually see the good in people before the bad. Je parle un peu français, mais uh, pas très bien. J'ai étudié le français depuis uh, sept ans maintenant. Wow, long time. All right, this by far has to be the weirdest, one of the weirdest things about me. Um, please let me know if this happens to you because I've researched online and I, you know, the, the input that I get is few and far between. So sometimes I'll wake up, right, and I'll be laying on my back and I'll have one arm straight up in the air and it's usually this arm. And then with my other arm, I'm just going up and down like this. Please tell me if this, if this has ever happened to you because... I don't know if my brain is somehow defunct. I love learning about plant foods. And when I say that, I mean the vitamins and minerals that are in them, the phytonutrients that they contain, and the benefits that they have on the human body. It's one of my favorite subjects. I have a 22-year-old brother who just got married. Wow. Only a year older than me and has already settled down. Whew. Reality check. I'm moving to Haverhill... Massachusetts sometime next year to work on a farm with my brother and my sister-in-law and I'm really excited so if anyone out there lives in Massachusetts please let me know. Also give me some tips because I'm from Northern California and it tends to never go below 30 degrees here so that scares me. The only time I've legitimately hyperventilized was when I was watching the documentary called Earthlings. It's about factory farming and there was this one part where there, where these people were throwing dogs into, I think it was a garbage truck, and I couldn't even get through the whole documentary. It was horrifying. So if anyone out there has sat through the whole thing, I commend you. That is bravery. I try not to raise or furrow my brows successfully, so as to avoid wrinkles. Um, it's not something that I'm proud of, but it is effective. I am 5'8", but I wish I were just a little bit taller, somewhere around 5'10 or 5'11". I feel like it's a kind of awkward height to be, because I'm not short, but I'm not quite tall. You know? My biggest dream in life is to own my own vegan restaurant. I love to cook, and I love to cook for other people, and I feel like there aren't enough popular vegan restaurants around because people think, I think people think of vegan food and they think uh, bean sprouts and kale, but that's not the case. Vegan food is really delicious and I've really taken the time to kind of immerse myself in different cooking techniques when it comes to vegan food and it's just a really good, it's one of my favorite hobbies. Thank you for watching this. Um, if you have, if we have any similarities, please let me know, especially about when it, or when it comes to the, the stranger things on the list, I would really like some kind of uh, assurance that I'm not the only one. And you can follow me on Vine, even though it's, it's a pretty depressing account right now. I have like nine posts. And also Instagram, both at Averunks. I'll put them down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.